Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and today is the last day I'm going to record with this mic in this room. If you don't like the audio, I'm really sorry, but stick with me through this one, and I promise I'll have a new mic by next episode. Episode? What am I, a reality TV show? Anyway, today I wanted to share some things that I've learned from my experience bulk shopping over the last couple years, and some things that people seem to often leave out when they talk about bulk shopping. Um, from things that I think are maybe more important than plastic and or bulk shopping to some things that might make bulk shopping really not even that sustainable in the first place. I feel like I've got a lot to share today, but really I can only share what I know from my experience. So if you have anything to comment on, on all the things I'm gonna talk about today about bulk shopping, I'd love to hear it, how you relate to it and what your experience has been like trying to find bulk stores and actually like going into the stores and buying things package free. I would love to hear it. But the first thing I wanted to tell you guys is that not all bulk shops are created equal. And when I say that, I mean that in a bunch of different ways. Number one, there are dedicated zero waste shops. You'll see those a lot more in like bigger cities, more progressive cities. We used to have one in Austin and then it shut down because it just wasn't making enough money. Um, I guess because the Austin market wasn't really ready for that. But there are also bulk bins at conventional grocery stores. Now why does this matter and why am I making a specification specification between the two. And that's because a dedicated zero waste shop behind the scenes is probably doing a lot to reduce their waste. Whereas like a conventional grocery store, like if you live in Texas, you know what H-E-B is. That's my love grocery store. But H-E-B probably isn't concerned with how they're stocking their bulk bins. AKA, they might be using plastic bags to stock their bulk bins and not recycling it. Whereas a zero waste shop might be getting paper bags and composting those paper bags. So not all bulk bins are created equal. And in saying that, I also want you guys to know that for every bit of waste that we produce upstream, those companies are producing 70 times the amount of waste than we are. So that is to say that if HEB is not recycling their plastic bags that they're filling their bulk bins with, you're still creating waste, you're just not seeing it. And no one talks about that when they talk about zero waste grocery shopping. Yes, you're bringing home zero trash, but does that mean that you're really not creating a demand for waste, you're just not seeing it. And that's something people completely leave out of the conversation. And I think it really leaves a lot of people feeling guilty that they don't bulk shop. Whereas sometimes you might be doing even better than someone who's bulk shopping at a conventional grocery store. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes in creating waste that we don't know. And we don't know how much our actions are impacting actual waste around the world, uh, around your country, around your hometown, whatever it may be. That's kind of my hope with this video, to tell people more that you might not be doing as much as you think someone else is doing, but that person might not be doing as much as you're doing. It just really depends, and the most important thing is to do the best that you can. Another thing that gets left out of the conversation a lot when we talk about zero waste grocery shopping, or I should say, when other people talk about zero waste grocery shopping, is plant-based eating. And I find it really strange that some people who talk about zero waste just don't mention plant-based eating. And aside from just being completely horrible for the planet and how many resources it takes to create those animal products, it's very unethical. It's an industry you wouldn't want to be supporting as someone who is trying to live a more sustainable and ethical lifestyle. People often ask me to talk more about the environmental impacts of animal agriculture and I guess I take for granted that not everybody knows about it, but I also wanted to partner up with Compassion and World Farming for this video to talk about the ethics behind consuming animals when we don't have to. Compassion and World Farming is an activist organization who is currently running a campaign called Eat Plants for a Change. They're their current campaign is campaigning to save animals' lives, reduce our impact on the planet, and also to live a healthier lifestyle. And I'm so excited to be partnering with them on this video where we're talking about zero waste grocery shopping because they actually like partner up with some of the world's largest grocery store and restaurant chains to make a huge difference in their supply chain. I'll put some of their accomplishments on the screen so you can see the hard work that they're doing to make this world a better place for animals and for us. 
all in one. It's an amazing organization. And aside from doing some of the big work in some of the biggest grocery stores and restaurants, like I said, they also provide tips and tricks and recipes and all sorts of amazing resources for people who do want to eat more plant-based or do want to help convince their friends and family to do so. So I did partner up with them on this video, like I said, but I'm not selling anything. There's nothing I'm asking for your money or anything like that. I'm just asking you to go to the link in the description and sign up for their recent campaign. Like I said, it's called Eat Plants for a Change. This helps show support for all of the work that they're doing, but it will also provide you with amazing resources to communicate the most effectively to your friends and family to get them more interested in eating plant-based meals. Because if we're talking about zero waste grocery shopping, because we wanna be more sustainable, we should absolutely be talking about eating more plant-based. So definitely go down to the description, show support for their most recent campaign. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. It is a free way to support me, to support their actions, and to help make Make the planet a better place so check them out and let's move on to some other things that no one talks about when we talk about zero waste grocery shopping so whenever I see people talk about zero waste I don't often see them talk about the waste behind the scenes I don't often see them talking about the environmental impacts of animal agriculture and I also don't see them talk about the other ways that you can reduce your waste if you don't have access to bulk shops aka food waste in general how terrible food waste is just educating people on how important it is to eat what you buy and not have to throw out food that is perfectly good is so important like if you can't reduce your waste in terms of shopping at a bulk store make sure that what you're buying you are eating and if you're not eating it you're freezing it and if you're not freezing it you're composting it that is another way to just reduce your waste overall and honestly can have a much better impact on the planet than bulk shopping especially when you don't have that option and other things are like what are the compare and contrast between if something is package free and something that is local right how do you compare something that didn't have to travel anywhere that is supporting a more sustainable and local economy versus buying beans that might have come from like another country but they're package free not many people compare and contrast those things and try to help people understand that sometimes the more sustainable option just might come in plastic because you got to support a local farmer and it didn't have to travel so far and you're supporting an individual who you know is doing sustainable things in their farming as opposed to some beans in a bullpen you don't know where they come from you might be supporting a company that's doing really unsustainable things like deforestation and all those sort of things there's just so much behind a zero waste that people don't focus on and I really really want more people to understand the behind the scenes impacts on the environment instead of just focusing on having what seems to be an aesthetic kitchen I seem I feel like zero waste has a lot to do with aesthetics a lot of times and we don't get into the meat of what's actually happening in the world another thing people don't seem to talk about when we talk about zero waste grocery shopping is that bulk is not that easy to find okay I've already talked about a lot of people don't have access to these things but no one seems to tell you that when they talk about zero waste grocery shopping a lot of times it just seems like they're talking about ways to be zero waste and they say buy your stuff in bulk with package free the end and they don't tell you like you might not have access to this you might have to seek out special stores instead of just a bulk shop because bulk shops are not that common at least where i live they don't tell you to dig into the nitty-gritty stuff and look into super local uh like stores so like there's a store in austin that sells just spices and olive oils or oils and stuff like that and there's not really anywhere else in austin right now that you can get zero waste unpackaged oil except there because they'll put it in your own container but i feel like people don't often talk about how to seek out other ways to get package free things but really zero waste has a lot to do with getting involved in your community and learning about those little hidden gems that can help you reduce your waste while also supporting a small business people don't also tell you that whenever you want to go zero waste you're either going to a have to give up a lot of things that you might be eating or b literally live in your kitchen because there are so many things that you are probably used to buying but you can't buy in bulk and you can't buy package free once you go zero waste so that either means a you're giving it up or b you're making it yourself from scratch and it will be very time consuming people don't often talk about that when we talk about reducing our waste it's a very privileged like way to look at living when people say well you could have just made that yourself instead of buying it in plastic but not everybody has an hour two hours to prepare something that they could just go to the store and buy for so cheaply you know what i mean yeah that seems to be something that's uh 
left out of the equation a lot. And something else that's very important that literally no one ever says, but you need to know if you want to start zero waste grocery shopping, you cannot just walk into any store and bring your jars and start filling them up. You cannot do that. And a lot of times this can turn out to be really bad beyond just someone at the store saying, hey, don't do that next time. Hey, we don't do that. I've actually heard stories of people going into a store with their jars, filling it up, going to the checkout, and then the store managers making them throw away the food that they put in the jar because they cannot sell it to you like that. So it is very important to not just walk into a store with your mason jar, fill stuff up, and be on your merry way. It's very important that you check with the managers and make sure you can or cannot use your own jars. Don't just walk up into any store and think that, hey, that's a bulk bin, so I can use my own jar. Why does no one tell anybody this? You can't just do that. I wish that you could, but again, it is not that simple. So wherever you're going to be grocery shopping, check with them and make sure that they will allow you to use your own container, whether or not you need to weigh it when you get there and tear it yourself, or they'll be able to tear it at the checkout. There are so many different ways that so many different stores do this. And honestly, something else no one ever talks about, which I've definitely run into in my time of zero waste grocery shopping, is it can absolutely depend on who is working that day, whether or not you can use your own jars. Sometimes there's this manager on duty who will let you use your own stuff because they don't really have a policy that tells you if you can or cannot, but this manager when you go in will freak out that you put your stuff in your own jar until you have to throw it away. So those are just some aspects of zero waste that really no one talks about and I really want you guys to know that if you're going to start trying to zero waste grocery shop, you should keep those things in mind. Last thing I wanted to tell you is that there is so much you can do to reduce your waste, to reduce your carbon footprint to reduce your impact on the planet. And I don't want you to get so caught up in something like your you know, food waste, the food that comes along with food packaging, because a lot of times that's something you can't change. It's not like something, I don't know, what else could you give a reference to in this? It's not like something you need to buy that's not like a complete necessity and you can hold out until you find it secondhand. Food is something that you have to consume every single day for survival and if you don't have a way to get all of the things that you need without packaging please don't feel bad there are so many other ways to reduce your waste to reduce your impact on the planet and of course one of them is you can start eating more plant-based meals even if they come in plastic so make sure you sign up with compassion and world farming in the description like I said it is completely free and it is a great way to reduce your impact on the planet and support me specifically since you don't have to pay for absolutely anything and to support an amazing cause. So thank them for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for being here and watching and remember until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do even if that doesn't mean buying your food package free.